Jessica and I am 30 years old. I live in New Hampshire and I've had Lyme and co-infections for about 11 years now. I decided to rock my Lyme shirt for today's video and you can follow me at Chronically Fit and Fabulous. So we always hear about detox and we used to kill which often leads to herxing but what if you could assess your drainage pathways, figure out which ones are weak, and support those so that you can reduce or eliminate your herxes? Sounds good, right? So how does your body drain? You have your brain and lymphatic system, your lungs, your skin and lymphatic system, your kidneys, liver and bile, colon and your mitochondria. So when our body becomes overwhelmed by toxins and pathogens, these drainage pathways can become slow and stagnant. So if we try to kill when our body isn't ready and we end up recirculating these toxins and pathogens instead of eliminating them, which makes us feel worse, which we don't want. We already deal with enough. So. Today, I will share how you assess your drainage pathways, and then you can go over to my Instagram and find a deeper explanation of these pathways, and then how you can support them. So, if your brain and lymphatic system needs support, you may have brain fog, poor memory and concentration, insomnia, anxiety, depression, moodiness, headaches, and migraines. If your lungs need support, you may experience shortness of breath, asthma attacks, wheezing, coughing, reoccurring upper respiratory infections, pneumonia and bronchitis, exercise intolerance, and bluish lips and fingers and toes. If your skin and lymphatic system need support, you may experience inability to sweat, skin issues, rashes, hives, acne, cellulite, chronic fatigue, swollen glands, edema, poor circulation, cold hands and feet, chronic infections, sinus, ear, and throat issues. If your kidneys need support, you may experience frequent or reduced urination, dehydration, dark urine, electrolyte imbalances, itchy and dry skin, vertigo, passing out, blood pressure issues, swelling of the ankles, feet, and hands. If your liver and bile need support, you may experience waking up between 1 and 4 in the morning, allergies, chemical sensitivities, headache, migraines, hangry, often, <laughs> stubborn weight gain, lots of digestive issues, can't handle alcohol or caffeine, hormonal issues, history of gallstones or having your gallbladder removed, high cholesterol, high beta glucuronidase, night blindness, and if it gets really bad, you may experience yellow skin or eyes. If your colon needs support, you may experience constipation or diarrhea. Um, it is ideal that you are pooping at least two or more times a day. Um, hard time emptying bowels, gas, bloating, cramping, bad smelling bowel movements. If your mitochondria need support, you may experience heavy legs, feel as if you're walking through mud, pins and needles in the extremities, extreme fatigue, fog, difficulty getting off the couch. All the pathways are connected, so if one pathway is really blocked and stagnant, it will affect the others. Um, and I highly suggest looking into the um, colon first if you're really constipated that's a big exit for things so if that is a weak pathway for you really address that one first and my weak drainage pathways are liver the lymph and the lymphatic system and the mitochondria what are yours and I wanted to mention if you have Lyme and co-infections and you feel like you aren't getting better look into mold and parasites and I highly suggest learning about your body and how it works. 
researching many healing options, taking an active role in creating your treatment plan, showing up daily and doing what you can, but also finding the joy in each day too. Give yourself grace on this roller coaster ride. Um, feel your feelings, but work through them and let go of the ones that don't serve you. Believe you can heal and never give up hope. And you are more than just Lyme disease. I hope this helps. And feel free to message me if you have any questions. I hope you have a great day.